Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and insights from the world of football. We have seen some exciting matches so far this season and we have been experiencing humdingers after humdingers. And let's be honest, I have not been flattered by the quality on display and once again a huge match in the context of the La Liga one of the standout fixtures which we all look forward to every single season is the El Clasico between Real Madrid and Barcelona. Two teams that have dominated Spanish football go once again head to head at the Santiago Bernabeu which is going to be a classic. And to be honest, I was not really looking forward to this match before, uh, you know, if it had taken place two, three months back. But as I see today, as things stand, Barcelona is not the same Barcelona which was, you know, diminishing. This is the Barcelona which we all expect to see with pace, with intensity and with a team spirit like no other. And you have to give a lot of credit to Xavi who has instilled that kind of unity within the squad. And to be honest, I was not expecting Xavi to do literally so well. He is 11 matches unbeaten in all competitions and their victory against Galatasaray in the round of 16 of the UEFA Europa League was a testament to the character that this entire team has. After going 1-0 down, they come back to win the game 2-1. That is, you know, the kind of mentality that this entire team is looking for after the departure of the players like Lionel Messi and Antoine Griezmann. They will be coming up against a very strong Real Madrid side. However, the big blow for the Galacticos being Karim Benzema is not available. He is injured and it is a very big blow for the Galacticos. To be honest, he is the most sublime, you know, informed striker in the La Liga or if not in Europe. And obviously, we know what he did in the Champions League against PSG within a space of 16 or 17 minutes. It was a breathtaking hat-trick and his loss is something, you know, really which that can't be filled. And that void is too big to be honest because Real Madrid in the attacking third have players like Vinicius Jr. They have players like Rodrigo on the right-hand side. However, you know, the kind of experience which Benzema possesses along with Luka Modric is just insane. And this is going to really define how this El Clasico will pan out. They have players like Cruz, you know, Casemiro and Modric, which has been the most successful trio in European football in terms of midfield. However, we also have to see in comparison what will be the starting lineup for FC Barcelona. They have some young, bright faces like Gavi and Pedri. And also, if you look at Frankie De Jong, he has been sensational playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder, making those deep-lying runs. Sergio Busquets, once again, is the most key figure in the centre of the midfield for the Catalan Giants. He has been the rock which has held the midfield firm and his experience is also crucial to the way Barcelona sets up. And Xavi, to be honest, will be looking at how he can exploit the spaces, especially behind Dani Carvajal, who likes to bomb down the right-hand side. And, you know, the space which the likes of Ferran Torres can exploit from the left wing is going to be the key battle. And obviously, if Barcelona can take control of the midfield, it will be interesting to see how this match goes. And Real Madrid are still the favourites to win the La Liga. Yes, but this is not the same El Clasico which was happening a few months or few weeks back. Yes, they were outplayed in Riyadh in one of the competitions against Barcelona and obviously we have to see what kind of response will Xavi have this time around when they face Real Madrid. In terms of, you know, Carlo Ancelotti's playing style, we all know that he does not rotate his squad much, but for such a huge fixture in the context of the La Liga, it will be really interesting who will play as the focal point for Real Madrid. Yes, they have options which, you know, are not the same kind of quality like Karim Benzema. At the age of 34, he is delivering the goods. And, you know, the way the first 15 to 20 minutes of this match pans out will actually determine who will be the eventual winner. 
Real Madrid's record at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu has been exceptional against all teams, specifically against Barcelona. When Lionel Messi was there, it was a complete nightmare for the Galacticos. However, this time they, they see some fresh faces like Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, his first ever El Clasico. Will he be up for the fight? And obviously, you have the pace of Adama Traore as well. And yes, he has not been hitting the ground running since he has joined Barcelona. But what I do feel is that he always carries a threat because of his pace and because of his ability to take on the defenders. And if Barcelona start on the front foot, let's say in the first 20 minutes, if they can nick a goal, it will be really interesting how the dynamics of this game changes. And the playing style of Real Madrid is always been to, you know, play that conservative football in the initial 15 to 20 minutes. They, you know, don't trigger the press that well. And only when Benzema plays as the focal point, I have seen Real Madrid playing that tactical press and that has worked in their favour. Yes, there are players like Federico Valverde and Eduardo Camavinga who have been sensational for the Galacticos. Will any one of them start? Will we see once again Cruz start in the midfield? These are the questions which Carlo Ancelotti needs to answer. And obviously, looking at the way Barcelona is set up, they will be playing with that standard 4-3-3 formation and we can expect goals in this match. Both teams are attack-minded, but the only difference being that Barcelona likes to keep more possession of the ball and frustrate the opposition, whereas Real Madrid is a team that can sit deep and hit the other team on the counter-attack. Two teams with completely different managers, with different playing styles, but the approach is to obviously win the match. So guys, we are in for a thriller at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. Who will win the match? Who is your key player? Please put in your thoughts in the comment section. And obviously, my prediction for this match is a narrow 2-1 victory in favor of Barcelona. What are your predictions? Please put in your thoughts in the comments. And let's wait and watch for an exciting El Clasico. So guys, for regular updates from the world of football, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until next time, stay safe and take care.